Are you happy that Vikram never responded to it? I will love Vikram. I love Vikram. <laughs> Vikram is your best buddy. Whenever body. I meet him, I will do Shasta. Well, Vikram, with Anurag, I feel that he has this ability to push you in the well. You know, he pushes you in the abyss, but he also holds your hand. He has that ability to talk to the actor in a way that not many know. You are fed on Amitabh Bachchan and you know. Shahrukh Khan and you know all these superstars. You're mostly you know not everybody is uh, Vinod Chopra, you know who is like okay I've seen world cinema. Now welcome to Cannes and many congratulations. Uh, Ten years after Ugly, you are yeah. back here with Kennedy. I mean. It's such an honor to be here with the film. Really, yeah, I agree completely. <laughs> it's such an honor. It's so amazing to just step here and see the atmosphere and you know soak that in and so much energy buzzing with cinema. Yeah, it's yeah. amazing. But I have to ask you, what is the special relationship between you and Anurag Kashyap? Uh, you said that you've known him since your PMGP yeah. colony yeah, days. Yeah, yeah. But how is it that he taps something? He taps into something inside you. Okay, so I'll tell you when I came. Uh, I'll I want to tell you that what is who was that kid he saw first. So I came to Bombay. That time it was called Bombay, and uh, I took some money from my father, and that money was gone in one month. I was literally on the streets, but I didn't have that courage to tell my father hello. I have already. He still thinks that I still have that money, <laughs> but. So I was in Bandra looking at Baskin Robbins, thinking, "Oh my God, I want." I was just 19. I want an ice cream, but I had no money. And suddenly somebody taps me and says, "Are you a model?" Yeah, I'm a model. Yeah. I said, "Can you?" Oh, I think you are a very famous model. <laughs> I get that many times. So I said, "Yeah, oh, of course, yes, yes." So you know, I come from this NIM, MIS, that college there. And uh, we are having a um, uh, competition. There is this competition. So can you choreograph for our? I said, yeah, okay, I'll choreograph. So I went back to PMGP Colony to ask the fashion show. What is it? I had no idea. You were bluffing. Yeah, I was bluffing. Yeah. So I didn't know what was fashion show. Believe me, nobody in PMGP knew what is a fashion show. One ignorant man met who said that they go like this, they die and come back. So I said, why? They go like this, they come back. They say, I don't know. It's like this. So anyways. Uh, I choreographed that. <laughs> Whatever, there were some very big models actually in that college, and Mithi Bai me inter college competition in Bombay is quite a big thing. So we did that competition, and I won best choreography. And who was the judge? Hemant Trivedi. Wow. He saw me on this, uh, you know, stage, and he said, "Hey, what are you doing choreography? Why, why, why not you modeling?" So he gave me Mr. India. Then I went to Mr. India, and I won some award there, and then it became very easy for me. Onurag Kashyap was that time in PMGP colony also, but he was already doing kind of, you know, he is one guy I think who market pet say is intelligent guy, <laughs> and I don't know what he saw. We didn't talk much those days, you know. I did Hina and I started, you know, I was off very soon. Your career took off. Yeah, it just took off. Yeah. So I always say that when I knew nothing. And suddenly I was all over the town, and I was, you know, and when I kind of understood a little bit, कोई पूछ नहीं रहा, so I always tell him that. But you know, with Anurag, I feel that he has a very, he has this ability to push you in the well. You know, he pushes you in the abyss, but he also holds your hand. You know, he pushes you into darkness, but he's with you. It's very strange about him that he has that ability to. Talk to the actor in a way that not many know, and he kind of, you know, when you look into his big, huge eyes bulging out of his, you know, and you, you don't have to do much. You just have to look into him, and somehow you understand. I understand. I have that relationship with him, that I just look into him and I know what he wants. Where is it going? Because it's so personal. He is a very He's a very difficult director, but at the same time, he's the most easiest to work with. It's very strange that how I have this. What does he? 
he does something he holds my hand he just walks me through and main apna dimag ghar pe chhod ke aata hu i feel no i have to trust this guy because i generally feel that a director has lived with the character longer time than an actor he has created this character he he knows world of this character and i feel that as an actor that's why i do very less work also because i want to trust my director i want to completely you know have faith in him and i want to just assume that personality in his command not in my i don't want to bring too much although all actors bring a little bit of themselves sure too. because you know like meryl streep says that you know there is always something the character is talking to you even if he is the horrible person but there is something that you identify with him so that happens but i feel that in with anurag i have so much faith in him that i can just uh, dive wherever he tells me why didn't he let you read the script more than once no i and i also give him that i think he understands it you know he doesn't want me to come prepared too much to ek baar padh ke bas jo what you get you get uh, which is horrible actually he should give you me know, yeah, it's, it's not it's not right but i don't know why he does that in ugly he didn't give us any script So is he has his ways i don't know i think he's he's a master he is a master i agree with you tell me about becoming kennedy you know this is such a terrifying character right and of course there's the physicality of him there's just the bigness of him but there's also the stare there's also the stillness um there's also somehow between you and anurag you also managed to make us think about him and worry about him a man who's just killing left right matlab he wakes up in the morning and starts killing people and 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 it's it's violent and it's ugly and yet we you made us care for this guy what how did you prepare to play this man you know uh, you see as an actor i'll tell you something that when you know you have to play a character you try to get the walk right you get try to get the stare right you try to get his you know body language that all can that's okay you know that can be kind of but one, i i do that but once i come on the set i forget about it i don't think too much about you know how this guy is going to stare and walk and this i leave it to the subconscious and you know but the most important thing about uh, kennedy was the violence inside him according to me he is a duffer he is a stupid guy why because he only he knows he kills people for nothing for no reason and i think only a stupid man can do that you have to be really or a psychopath dumb. yeah see kennedy is not a really psychopath he is a yeah, he he could be a psychopath also i am not a psychiatrist i don't understand those things <laughs> but i think that he is a totally he is a very stupid man but he knows one thing he is a killing machine he knows how to kill people yeah and yet he has so much inside his heart that is the ability of kashyap because his scenes his films are always like that you mm-hmm. see he you have the darkest of the thing going and you audience is laughing sometimes so he 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 derives humor out of it and now with kennedy you have this very dark man going on a killing spree and you know as if he has no emotion yet he draws emotion out of him so that is one ability in his writing and his you know uh, whole portraying but for me it was really a difficult job to do because you know all my friends <laughs> that one year and i really wanted to get this right because i thought that when i read the script i i was crying all I, tears were coming out of my eyes and i was thinking why am i crying this bastard is such a bad guy why am i crying am i crying because of you know then i realized i'm crying that this director has so much faith in me he wants me to do play this actually after some time i realized my god this 
is the biggest award that a director who has worked with you earlier and you know it it reminded me of Richard Attenborough when he you know he was doing Gandhi who else could have been Gandhi Indian actors mar gaye the kya itne kamal ke actor hai India mein they were brilliant actors they were see there were so many great actors. but he, he believed in his actor he goes back and brings his actor and you know rest is the history so i felt that you know when you have already worked with the director the director knows your ability he knows ki he knows your limitations he knows your you know what all you are capable of what are the possibilities he understands it very well and i felt my god here is a director who is the best and you know he thinks that i can i better give my 100% to this so i it's a big one i have to show up yeah it's a big one yeah and i thought no i have to show up you know i have to so that one year of this uh, kennedy inside me i i hope i showed up but um, my friends and my you know people who were close to me used to say are yaar ye kennedy yaar bas kar de abhi you know ab tu nikal isko ab ho gaya and you know the other day uh, the other director who i worked with sudhir mishra he told me kennedy hai abhi bhi you know the film is dedicated to sudhir nikal isko so he can, he can probably see see yeah, kennedy yeah he said are oh abhi hai <laughs> yeah i mean because you know when you give so much time i i really gave a lot of time to this character because pandemic bhi tha beech mein aur fir wo then you know anurag was like okay we'll do it next month then you know little bit stressed a little bit more and and in between i i got covid and you know all the preparation because i had to bulk up and i was really eating yeah, you're up very really big was, yeah, I was, yeah i'm 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 almost 90 in this and and uh, then i got covid and like, oh my god is again taking me back then again you know i worked out again and you know and i felt that okay that was also helping me because covid and all this this whole depression and this whole pent up energy into this character it actually you know hota hai kuch that universe also kind of helps you yeah, yeah. and now here you yeah. are at can yeah i couldn't have asked for <laughs> <laughs> couldn't have asked for more don't tell me your career has been very uh, unconventional like you said ki jab yeah. jab nahi aata tha tab you know you were very famous and there was there was all that you know sort of buzzing and and yeah. and fame around you and then you said that in an, in another interview you talked about how now when i know something about my craft i feel like i'm starting afresh so do you feel that you made wrong choices or why did you take such long breaks i know i feel you know when you come from a you know i come from a different background i'm from kashmir i had you know you don't have many choices in front of you when you come to a city like mumbai and you feel you know you are uh, you are fed on amitabh bachchan and you know shahrukh khan and you know all these superstars you are mostly you know not everybody is uh, vinod chopra you know who is like okay i've seen world cinema oh you know we were this and i was always you know looking at that kind of cinema and and you think that you are amitabh bachchan and then one day if you are lucky enough you will realize you are not <laughs> i mean some people are very unlucky they don't realize it ever in their life puri zindagi chali jati hai but with me i realized it very soon that there is something else i need to know i have not seen world cinema i have not you know i am not exposed to the best you know of the world and then i started kind of watching cinema once i did ye mohabbat hai nahi padun some few films and then i was getting then i understood yaar ye nahi karna hai something is there that something is wrong and i you know you don't have good advisors and those you know who are advising you are themselves not really you know there <laughs> they don't know what they are telling you but which are they are doing their best but i realized that i need to watch i need to understand i need to learn so i went back and i started watching films and then i was suddenly exposed to this whole ocean and i was thinking my god i am here in one bucket i am playing something else what am i doing and then i started reading a little bit and i read stanislavski i read you know agri i read many kind of whatever i could then i started developing interest into it and 
Sometimes I feel, oh, I should have done film school. But then I am telling you and I want to tell this to all those kids who come from, that there is nothing better school than watching cinema. It's unbelievable. If you are really watching it keenly, it will teach you everything. So then I, that time, you know, I realized that offers that I'm getting were not what I want. Now my keen interest was something else. Now suddenly I wanted to, you know, swim in the ocean and I was getting buckets of water and I was getting bathroom and I many not want So, I just, I don't know, it could be, sometimes I feel that whatever happens, happens for the best. Had I done all kinds of roles and all kinds of films, maybe I would not have been here. And, uh, or maybe I would have really made it very big, I don't know. But I feel that whatever happens, it just happens for the best. Are you seeing Kennedy? as a sort of new beginning? Yeah. I think, you know, uh, while I was uh, working on Kennedy, first six, seven days, Anurag didn't talk to me much, you know. We were not really, he was just behind, he was watching, he was, he was, he was doing what he's supposed to do, but he was not telling me that, you know, I'm getting going right or I'm wrong or what's going wrong. And one day after seven, eight days, he came to the, uh, to my van, he van, and he just started talking to me and he told me, Ghadbad ho hai. So, Ghadbad ho hai. Oh, no. And it was like, oh my God. Huh. But something inside me knew Ghadbad nahi ho hai kuch bhi. And he started laughing, ah, I'm joking. That's a terrible I'll kill joke. <laughs> that is a I'll terrible you. joke. Yeah. And he left the van while going in the van. He said, oh, it's, I won't talk to you much. It's good. So I felt I've not seen him this happy. Mm. I've seen him. He, see, he knows what he's doing. He's one of, Unrag, you know, he, he's a very, very well educated person. He understands cinema. He has seen it. He's read so many things. He has traveled the world. He has been with the best. But there is some very innate quality about him that he's a kid. And that kid at heart makes him special. I think that's why he can get out those. He understands it deeper because that kid is alive. And it's very important for any actor or any in any kind of art form that you know you might become the biggest shana of the world. You might become you might know it all, but if the kid inside you is dead, you're gone. Yeah. So I think that kid inside him, you know, that is what drives those interesting performance. That is what I look up to him. Whenever I'm talking to him, I keep searching for that kid, and he has to talk to me, and that. Whenever he's explaining, whatever he's explaining to me, he's explaining a scene to me. But I'm deep down searching for that true moment, that true thing that, and he's and he gives me. And then I realize, I must do this. You know, sometimes when he's explaining the scene, and I look into his eyes, I think, "This is Kennedy. This is it." It's not that he's acting, but when he's explaining it, you feel the essence. I feel that yeah. there is something. See. Um, Meryl Streep is a big actor in any world. I mean, she's the best Absolutely. we have seen. Yeah. She says that the character can be, it can be horrible. It can be the worst person in the world. But there is still something that's gone. That you have to derive from your own life. That you relate to. And it's deep down, it's not, it's not, above your neck, it's, it's very deep down. But once you get that, you will get the essence of it. And I feel that that's what I look into Anurag's, you know, eyes that once he, once I get that, I understand ye kehna kya chata hai. Right, absolutely. Because wo Haryanvi jo picture dekkar nikla hai, nikalta hai bahar, wo ta kehna kya chave hai. Yeah. Uske saw hai kya kya, wo important sab se. That in any performance or in any film, the basic thing is, can I get up here? Right, right. Yeah. So I can play the character, you know, flamboyant way. I can do whatever, you know. But can I get up here? 
that's very important yeah yeah you know yesterday when i interviewed him he said to me that uh, he actually thought it's called kennedy because he wrote this role for vikram yeah but vikram never responded to yeah. him are you happy that vikram never responded to him i will love vikram i love vikram <laughs> Vikram's your I, best buddy. Whenever I meet him, I will do shastak. Well, Vikram, I am in love with you. <laughs> yeah, well done, Vikram. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, thank you, thank you, Vikram. Thank you. <laughs> Tell me finally, Rahul, what do you hope to get out of this experience? It's your second time. You've been here. You've done that, but this one is truly special. You know, I have reached a point in my life now. Uh, I just वो जो लॉर्ड कृष्णा ने कहा ना कि काम करो और करते रहो बेटा फल की चिंता मत करो ऐसा नहीं है बट कि दैट अधिकार नहीं है उसके ऊपर दैट काम के ऊपर काम करने के ऊपर आपका अधिकार है फल पे अधिकार नहीं है नाउ आई हैव रीच्ड अ पॉइंट इन माई लाइफ दैट वेयर आई हैव एक्चुअली अंडरस्टूड दिस लाइफ दैट अभी फल की चिंता नहीं अब नाउ इट्स जस्ट द बिगिनिंग एंड आई फील दैट यू नो I have learned something from this, and uh, there is there are miles to go, and I feel that yes, it's is something very interesting that's happened to me. How lovely! <laughs> Congratulations, and have a wonderful time. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Lovely that talking to you. Lovely. Thank you. You've been watching FC at Can 2023 in association with travel partner Air France. smartphone partner google pixel beauty partner l'oreal paris media partner ndtv and travel trend partner skybags